G'day, g'day. Well, um, I'm distilling some, um, some water and, um, this is uh, the setup I've got. That bottle's just in there to hold the coil in place. There's the bottom spiral. Um, well, the bottom condenser, the spiral condenser. And then the bubble condenser. And then the main uh, condenser. It's bubbling in there, so I'll just turn that off for a moment. If I can hold this still enough, when I start it back up, you'll actually see there we go. Gets back up to temperature again. I've got to do that every now and again because this pipe that comes out of the main pot is too narrow and there ends up with so much condensation coming down that there's just too much for the tube with the evaporation coming up and the condensation trying to go back down it builds up and starts to bubble in this bit just in here so every now and again I've just got to turn it off for a moment well turn it down for a moment back down to um, 80 degrees well 80 degrees on here um, I've got to have it on toast and then I can do the plus and minus with the temperature between 80 and 120 which is perfect because with this at about 27 litres I suppose um, it starts off uh, even sitting on 120 it'll start off well, I'll get it up to 80 first off, which on this is actually only about 20 degrees up here. Well, right there. And then I take it up to uh, 120. And with it at about 27 litres, that takes it to about 75 degrees. Uh, so I do that slowly between 80 and 120 until I get up to about, well, I start collecting at about uh, 60 and then go all the way up to say 75 and then from 75 I go up to about 90. 394 which is just about there now it's about 93 at the moment up the top so it's almost at an end but um, yeah this is the, the little setup that I've got for my water distillation so yeah I've got um, in here I did have ice but it's all gone now I've actually emptied it once because uh, I do this slowly so I've already emptied it once and then filled it back up with cold water again um, but that was almost an hour ago so it's probably no it's still cold that's good so um, and just in that five minutes so it's probably about 200 mils 
So it's just a nice drip, 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 drip. That's how it's been the whole time. And out of 27 litres of water, so far I've got, um, what is there, uh, two 500s and say 200 in that little container, and then another 500 and then two 300s. Yeah, that's not bad. Say by the by the time this one's all up and done, it'll be say uh, two and a half litres, and there's still a bit more to go. Still nice and clear, and still tasting nice for water. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, uh, just uh, by the way. I also do uh, brew a lot of meads. Um, I've just gone through and weeded out uh, a lot of the stuff that uh, I didn't want to hang on to for now. And that top, um, that box is stuff that uh, will probably be used up next time but um, yeah did you know that if you distill meads and wines I suppose although I like my wines my wines made with my grapes are really really nice so I'm keeping that um, but if you distill meads or wines you get brandy isn't that great? So if somebody was to distill um, meads and wines, they'd end up with really nice brandy. And I'll tell you what, I've done up um, probably 20 different meads so far. All different ones, uh, blueberry, raspberry, blackberry, um, gee, what else? Banana, all sorts of stuff, and uh, yeah, it's actually not bad stuff, I tell you. If somebody was to distill all of that, it, it, it's a, a very nice mixture. Well, this is almost full, so I I'm going to um, wait until this bottle of distilled water <laughs> is uh, done and I'll continue on. Alrighty guys, have a good one. Catch you later. Oh, I'm back. You know, just as a point of interest, in Australia, you're only allowed to have up to 40% alcohol. So your ABV is 40%. Now, um, just for the sake of interest, if you were distilling, say, meads and wines, and just, you know, say you were getting, oh, I don't know, 160 proof out of the bottom end. So that's 80% ABV, alcohol by volume. Um, in that case, you'd have to water it down by half to get it down to your 40%. So now just uh, as an example, you'd say have um, <clears throat> 27 litres of mead and, or wine and say an average of 15% you know, some some climbing up to you know 196 some down around the 14 mark um, so say an average of 15% 
ABV in your meads and wines. Then you would end up with uh, 27. You probably end up with about six litres coming out the bottom. And of that, uh, four and a half, maybe up to five litres of nice brandy. If you were to take it to your 40%, although, you know, you might might want to go down a bit, who knows. But you definitely wouldn't go above that 40%, of course. But this is all for the sake of interest because this is distilled water. So, yeah. Alrighty, ladies and gents. Have a good one. Catch ya.